If you've been wakeboarding long enough, you've definitely been in a rut. We've all been there regardless of what your level is. Uh, if you're just starting out or if you're an advanced rider, everyone's gotten stale and stagnant in their riding. Today, we're gonna talk about how to get you to that next level and get you out of that learning rut. I'm Trevor Hansen. let's jump into it. We've all been there, I've been there myself. Um, it's one of the most frustrating things being stuck at a level that you can't get out of, whether it's uh, having a trick that you've tried over and over and over again, I um, mean, you just can't land it and it's just got you and you can't figure it out. Or if you've just been doing the same tricks over and over again and you haven't advanced to that next riding. We're gonna go over a couple different things that will help get you past those levels um, and just kind of make riding a little bit more fun again. So my first suggestion for getting you past that current riding level is to remember why you started wakeboarding in the first place. It's fun. So if it stops becoming fun, if you're just frustrated out on the water, that can be just the end of, uh, of enjoyment out on the boat. Uh, it ruins your whole day. Um, and that's where a lot of people get stuck is they just stop having fun. So remember to keep it fun, uh, enjoy yourself out there, and don't let it get you super frustrated. Because if you stop having fun, you'll stop learning. There's a lot of different ways that you can be in a rut. Being frustrated might not be uh, where you're at. It might just be that you've been trying tantrums over and over again and you're having fun, but you just haven't been able to successfully land a trick. So one of my suggestions there would be just get away from it for a little while. Uh, try a different trick, or you can even try it in a different way. Something as simple as pulling the rope in five feet and trying it at a slower boat speed might be the answer. Or trying it one wake instead of trying to go one, uh, wake to wake. Just trying uh, the trick in a different manner or just getting away from it completely and turning your focus onto something else could be the answer to, uh, to getting past it. My next suggestion would be go back to the basics. Um, if you're stuck on a trick, uh, call it a 360, um, and you've been trying this 360 forever and maybe sometimes you land it, maybe sometimes you don't, um, but you just can't seem to dial it in. It could be as simple as something as you just don't have the right handle position um, and doing something a little bit more basic and improving um, upon your fundamentals might be the answer to getting that trick 100%. So working on stuff like uh, backside 180s and landing blind, riding switch for an entire weekend, um, dialing in your switch landings where you're landing switch or landing toe side switch, heel side switch, all that different stuff can be the answer to those more difficult tricks. Um, so I, I encourage people all the time to take a step back, really dial in those fundamentals, um, especially when it comes to riding switch, riding blind, um, or landing backside, or landing in a switch position, um, or taking off in a switch position. That's stuff that people will get good at, they'll land it a couple times and then they'll move on, but they don't really master it. So really try to master those fundamentals and that can be the difference when you go to learn those harder tricks. Another thing that you can do is actually get some coaching. Uh, find someone in your local area, maybe there's some online programs um, that are out there, but have someone that knows what they're looking at, analyze your tricks and give you some pointers. Sometimes it could be something super simple uh, that you just haven't picked up because you're not paying attention or you've been trying it for so long that you haven't noticed. Um, and if you don't have access to a coach, another really easy thing to do is actually film yourself. Have your buddy that's sitting in the boat uh, take a video of you doing the trick a couple times um, and kind of watch uh, a couple different versions of you doing it. Try it four or five times so that you have some comparisons. Maybe you'll see something that you do over and over again that you didn't realize that you were doing and that might be the difference of, uh, of getting it for you. There's also some things that you can do off the water. Uh, I would suggest that you train a little bit different if you've gotten stale. Uh, spend a lot of time on the trampoline, jumping on a trampoline, doing flips, doing 360s, uh, set up a rope to a tree and jump on the trampoline, practice passing the handle. If you don't have a trampoline, tying a rope to a, a pole on a dock or a tree and practice those handle passes and handle positions. Uh, doing stuff like that can make a big difference. Uh, just figuring out what your body's doing and giving it something different to look at. If you've been trying flips for a long time, you don't have a trampoline, try some backflips off the boat uh, into the water or off a dock. Uh, just something to kind of give your body some different feelings, some different awareness. Uh, you'll learn how to spot landings, you'll learn how to land the right way, and it just gives you a different way to look at the trick that you're trying. 
So hopefully that gives you guys some good ideas, some good suggestions for, uh, for how to get out of that rut. Just remember that every rider goes through it, whether you're beginner, advanced, or all the way up to pro level riders, everyone gets in these ruts uh, from time to time. And uh, the key is just to get out of it. And the best way to get out of it is to have fun. Uh, when it stops becoming enjoyable, you get into these little ruts um, and it can be real draining on you. So just try to have fun out there, do something different, mix it up until you're having fun again, and uh, just enjoy yourself out there on the water. That's why we all started.